The United States Space Agency, NASA, has been promoting and celebrating its 50th anniversary all year. But the current state of the agency and its uncertain future has many concerned. U.S. Senator Bill Nelson is chairman of the Senate subcommittee that oversees NASA. NASA is at a crossroads. And that crossroads has to do with whether or not we will commit the political will and the national resources in order to achieve the dream of our continued space program, both human space program and the unmanned space program. NASA's glory days and the accomplishments of its manned space program are well known and documented. For many years after its inception, the agency thrived thanks to substantial federal funds. Space consultant and former NASA manager Alan Ladwick says that is no longer the case. That during the high point of the Apollo program, NASA's budget represented 4% of the federal budget. Today it represents six-tenths of 1%. The space shuttle has been flying American astronauts into space since 1981. But the aging fleet is to be retired in 2010, and there could be a five-year gap before a replacement vehicle is ready. President Bush and NASA now have their sights on returning to the moon, future missions to Mars, and the building of new space vehicles to accomplish the tasks. But again, says Senator Nelson, the problem is money. NASA cannot do both the space shuttle program and the start of the new Constellation program without additional money, which is what has caused the two not to overlap and it has us facing a five-year gap in not flying humans in space. While those vehicles are being built and tested, America will not be able to get to the space station on its own, a situation that angers former astronaut and senator John Glenn. Like they're so strapped for money at NASA that they've had to put in, uh, uh, they were having to cut the shuttle flights to save enough money to go ahead and complete the station. But our, I think it's a little bit ridiculous when we're cutting to the point where our transportation to our space station is gone and we have to contract after 2010 with the Russians to put us up to our station. Astronauts will always look to space exploration with great optimism. But in this, NASA's golden anniversary year, the U.S. Space Agency clearly sees significant challenges on the horizon. Paul Sisko, VOA News.